want us to talk about an emergency technique that will help you save a life or two whenever or if ever you are found around an accident or emergency scene. This technique is called the cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. My name is Nas Veronica Obi. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR is an emergency life-saving technique that is used in emergencies where an individual has stopped breathing or their heartbeat has stopped. Some of these situations could be in heart attacks, electrocution, smoke inhalation, choking, drowning, and many more. In these emergency situations where the breathing and the heartbeat has stopped, the blood supply and oxygen to the brain and other important organs are either stopped or very reduced, and this can cause death in as short as five minutes. So a cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR will help to sustain the flow of oxygen and blood until this person can get appropriate medical intervention. Before performing a CPR, there are a few things you should do. The first thing is remove the person from danger. For example, if it's in a car crash, remove the person from the car out into a safe space. Remove tight clothing around the person's neck and chest. Check to see if the person is conscious or unconscious. If the person looks unconscious, tap the person on the shoulder and ask, are you okay? If the person does not respond, call for help. Place your hand over the person's nose or your chin to feel if air is coming out from the nose. You can also place your ear over the person's chest and check if you would hear the person's heart beat. If you don't, you can begin a CPR. CPR is performed in three steps. It's called the C-A-B of life. C is for compression, A is for airway, and B is for breathing. Compression is done to restore blood flow. This is the most important aspect of the CPR. It is done by placing your hand over the person's chest and pushing down. The steps for compression are first, lie the person on their back on a firm and flat surface, preferably on the floor or on a table. Kneel next to the person's neck and shoulders. With one hand, Place the heel of your palm in the center of the person's chest. Place your other hand on top of it, interlock the fingers and make sure that your elbows are straight. Press down on the chest at least two inches. Use your entire body weight in doing so and not just your arms. Push hard at a rate of 100 to 120 times in a minute. If you are not a trained first aider, continue chest compressions until emergency medical aid arrives or you get to the hospital. And if you are a trained first aider, you can go on to open the airway and give rescue breaths. The next step after compressions is to open the airway. This is done by a maneuver called the head tilt chin lift maneuver. You put your palm on the person's forehead and gently tilt backwards. And then you use your other hand to lift the chin up just a little bit to open the airway. The next step is breathing. This is to help the person breathe. The breathing can be done either by mouth to mouth or mouth to nose breathing. This is when the person has serious injuries on their mouth or the mouth cannot be opened. After opening the airway, you pinch the nostrils short. This is for mouth to mouth breathing and then use your own mouth to cover the person's mouth, making a seal. Breathe into the person's mouth for about one second and check to see if the chest rises. If the chest rises, give a second breath. If the chest does not rise, repeat the head tilt chin lift maneuver before you give the second breath. Resume the chest compressions to restore blood flow Continue CPR until signs of movement are seen or emergency medical help arrives. 30 chest compressions and two breaths are considered one cycle. And you should be careful not to breathe forcefully into the person's mouth. 
Performing CPR for children more than one year is essentially the same as adults, except that you may use one hand if the child is small and the compressions are less harder than in adults to avoid fracturing the breast bone. For children less than one year of age, a cardiac arrest is usually due to choking and if you are aware that there is something blocking the child's airway, you perform first aid for choking. If there is nothing blocking the airway, you will continue to do CPR. These are the steps to perform CPR for a child less than one year of age. The first thing is to touch the baby to see if there is any response such as movement. Do not shake the baby. Follow the CAB steps as mentioned above. Place the baby on its back to lie on a firm flat surface. Place two fingers of one hand at the center of the chest just below the, the nipple line. Gently press down about 1.5 inches. Count aloud as you push down. You should push down at about 100 to 120 in a, in a minute just as with the adult compressions. After 30 compressions, you do the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Then you give your rescue breaths. You cover the baby's mouth and nose with your mouth, making a seal. Slowly breathe into the baby's mouth for one second. Watch to see if the baby's chest rises. If it does, give the second breath. If it doesn't, do the head tilt chin lift maneuver again before giving the second breath. If the baby's chest still doesn't rise, continue with the chest compressions. Give two breaths after every 30 compressions. Continue the CPR until you see signs of movement or an emergency medical team arrives. Remember, if you're a trained first aider, you give 30 chest compressions and two breaths for one cycle. If you are not a trained first aider, you should just continue with only chest compressions and do not attempt to give rescue breaths. Till next time, bye bye!